Let's take the word cat, for example. This is a free morphine. If we want to describe the orgasmic reaction one can have when surrounded by cats, we can add the bound morpheme, gasm. Thus, we end up with the word catgasm, another free morpheme. Using catgasm as a verb, what if we wanted to describe someone undergoing the catgasm experience? We can change the word catgasm by adding the bound morpheme ing. Then we get catgasming. Catgasm and catgasming are both verbs. The morphosyntactic category has not changed. Thus, ing is an inflectional bound morpheme. If we wanted to describe something that evokes an experience similar to a catgasm, we would have to change the word catgasm. By adding the bound morpheme ic, we will get catgasmic. These words have different morphosyntactic categories. Therefore, IC is a derivational bound morpheme.